Seth, um, looking at this development, uh, mm -hmm. we're seeing um, the insurance sector is one of the big contributors to our GDP mm -hmm. in terms of uh, what we collect from uh, the premiums as well as uh, just the industry in totality. It's mm -hmm. in the trillions of shillings. Um, do you think this is going to raise um, revenue generated out of that? And what potential impact might it have for business people who might feel it's too high for them? Okay, thank you very much and good question. Uh, my role as an actuary uh, is to look at an insurance contract and advise on what the right price is against that particular insurance contract. Um, the repercussions of not charging the right premium on an insurance contract is, is pervasive across the whole economy. Mm -hmm. For example, if you don't charge the right premium and uh, when your claim actually arises, you won't have institutions that are strong enough to actually pay off the claim. And if that happens in an industry like the PSV industry, in an industry like motor private, in an industry like medical, you actually have a scenario where the general public is actually severely uh, impacted mm -hmm. uh, simply by uh, insurance companies not actually charging the right premium. Mm -hmm. So um, there are various ways of looking at it. And uh, to be very honest, uh, everyone would have a different view on this matter. But mm -hmm. the bottom line is, to have a sound and vibrant financial services industry, you have to charge the right premium reflective of the risk that is being taken on.